Hey Cancers, welcome back. So here we're about to do a general reading. This may or it may not resonate with everyone. Just, you know, take it how it applies to you if it does. All right, let's start with your person first. They've got the full card. Also the Four of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Okay, and what's going on them is the Knight of Wands. Um, some of you, this could be an Aries, Leo or Sag. I also see Aquarius here too. Okay, it doesn't have to be. It could be any sign, but it's two groups of them. Some of you... um maybe there's some space or distance between you and this person or you guys just aren't you know really on speaking terms maybe just flat out broke up or this is an on again off again type of uh situation here but i feel like they're still drawn to you okay with this uh knight of wands and um they might be open to starting over with you or moving things forward but they feel like you don't feel the same okay i feel like this person um, they're feeling kind of rejected here, especially if you kind of pull back or some of you, you just, you kind of release them. Okay. With the star card, you started to heal from the situation, get over this. You're focusing a lot on yourself, self-love, self-care. They may feel like you're giving your attention to, you know, someone else here with this, um, six of pentacles or that you get a lot of attention from, um, you know, just other people. You've got other suitors, or at least that's what this person is thinking, okay? So they may feel like they're not important to you anymore, yep, or that they're not a priority and is stressing them the hell out here, okay, with this Ten of Wands. This speaks about burdens, again, stress, um, you know, something just feeling very heavy or weighing them down, okay? So others of you, I feel like this person... Um, they're trying to detach okay because like i said it's it's two groups some of you and i can't i can't lie here no offense to anyone but this person they're um they're not putting any effort into this okay cancer and i don't necessarily think they're going to right now either because they feel like this connection is a drag okay or they feel like you're too challenging uh for them or that this connection has um become a burden or a problem basically all right now again you've got the star card the um six of pentacles and the four of swords and what's going on you is the three of wands so yeah some of you you're um you're healing you're focusing on yourself okay um maybe your money a lot as well with the six of pentacles some of you could be dealing with a virgo taurus capricorn but um yeah i feel like you're you're not taking any action towards them either okay you've taken a step back from this person i think you still think about them though okay with that four of swords some of you you might still be with them others of you you still want to be okay because the uh, three of wands speaks about waiting or having um, patience here so some of you you know I'm not saying you're putting your life on hold obviously okay because you've got other things you're doing or focusing on but it's like you would be open to you know hearing from this person um, but yeah spirit please clarify the uh, full the four of cups as well as the ten of wands for cancer's person be mindful you guys if it's not the full reading that resonates you know it might just be bits and pieces okay just um take whatever fits for you spirit clarify the fool the four of cups as well as the ten of wands for cancer's person all right so they've got the hermit virgo energy also the five of wands and the knight of pentacles some of you they might come back around okay but it's um it's not going to be tomorrow or probably not even within the next week okay they're um they're taking their time with approaching you again okay some of you there was some conflict between you and them five wands speaks about arguing bickering you know people just not getting along being on the same page this person may also be internally conflicted too stressed out is is what i'm feeling here because some of you they still care about you but this person has a lot of pride or ego when it comes to you too okay so it's kind of like they don't really know if they should um stay or go here you know for some of you and they're um they're not doing well emotionally either or they just they struggle with with their feelings or expressing themselves or there could be some mild depression here that this person is going through too if i hadn't already said that especially with this hermit all right so yeah i feel like they have pulled their energy back you guys yes okay now let's um let's uh clarify your energy again spirit please clarify the um star card the six of pentacles as well as the four of swords they still think about you a lot though okay because you know the hermit yes that's someone who's kind of again closed off reclusive not really doing much you know talking but it's also someone who does a lot of thinking analyzing reflecting ruminating you know things like that so um spirit clarify the uh star card the six of pentacles the four of swords sorry the star card the six of pentacles and the four of swords for cancers here i feel like there's some regret here for this person as well with that hermit they they question like why things happened the way they did what went wrong here okay maybe they should have treated you better but 
I just, I feel like there could have been competition in this situation too for some of you. They were dealing with another person, okay? Maybe that's why some of you decided to back off from them. Spirit, clarify the five, six of pentacles, and the four of swords. All right, so you've got the four of cups. Some of you, okay, so it's two groups. Some of you, you, um, you, you don't want them. You don't want this anymore, okay? You may have rejected this person, pushed them away. Maybe you got tired of wasting your time. You may have felt like this was a missed opportunity and you didn't want to invest your energy into it anymore. Others of you, they made you feel this way. They made you feel um, rejected pretty much, okay? Or that they weren't going to, you know, give you what you needed in this uh, situation, all right? You've also got the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords. Yeah, some of you, you see things clearly with this person, okay? That things were very one-sided here, all right? Ace of Swords speaks about clarity, insight, awareness, and then this... um. You know, two of swords here, you blocked them, okay? You're not opening up to this, <clears throat> sorry, you're not opening up to this person anymore. You cut them off, okay? No more giving to this, no more being the only person who's invested and they're not doing shit, okay? So I feel like some of you, you have put up some boundaries with them or you just, shit, you're moving on, okay? Maybe with someone else or maybe you're just focusing on yourself, okay? So let's pull some more messages, all right, you guys? Spirit, please show me some more messages for Cancer's person here. Yeah, some of you, you were really, um, I don't know, down for this person or willing to, to move things forward or give to this, basically, okay? Or to be with them, to, you know, invest in this situation with that Six of Pentacles. But once you saw here, okay, things clearly for what they are with that Ace of Swords that they weren't giving back, I think that's when you pull back and you were like, you know what, no, I'm, I'm not going to do this, okay? I'm not going to be used or taken advantage of or one of your damn options either okay because some of you they were uh dealing with another person okay trying to treat you like you were second best so i feel like you uh you cut them off spirit show me some more messages for cancer's person here all right so they've got the double life cheater and it says i'm already committed but i'm willing to sneak around with you i know what's wrong but i want to have my cake and eat it too Okay, so that's not for everyone, but it could be for a couple people out there where this person was already married or dealing with another person, but they wanted to keep you as well. They've also got uneasy and it says nervous, suspicious, doubtful, red flags, gut instincts, okay? Some of you make this person nervous or um, I just, I don't think they're, they're having a hard time with whatever's going on here between the two of you or the fact that the two of you don't deal with each other anymore or this is something else that's going on in their life. You know, could be karma. They've also got um, marriage material. And it says, I see you as marriage material. You have so many great attributes. Anyone would be lucky to have you by their side for life, okay? Some of you may have been married to them. Or maybe they're married to someone else. But I feel like this person, um, they, they know that you're someone who's valuable. They do. Look at you. You've got the star card, okay? But at the same time, I don't feel like they were, um, they were treating you like that. They weren't, okay? Otherwise, you wouldn't... Feel like you need to um leave them alone right so let's pull some more messages for you spirit show me some more messages for uh, cancers here all right sorry about that i was just going on and on talking and didn't realize that my phone storage had got too full so yeah cut off but anyway this is what had uh came out okay you guys you've got healthy relationship and it says getting along supportive teamwork loyalty satisfaction mutual respect and stability all right so I don't know if some of you, I don't know, maybe this is what you want with this person. Some of you may still have faith in this, you know, connection that things can, you know, um, be good between the two of you. Others of you, I feel like you are releasing this. OK, like I was saying, you kind of like backed off of this person because this connection wasn't healthy for you. And this is what you do want. OK, maybe you're dealing with a new person or some of you, you're just going to choose to be single here. OK, with this star card until the right person comes along. OK, because you're tired of settling or dealing with, you know, toxic uh, situations. Next, you've also got nostalgia. OK, and it says You've been on my mind a lot lately. I can still feel your energy around me. Sometimes I stare at your photos because I miss you like crazy. Yeah, some of you still love them or you may miss this person, but I don't think you're um, taking any action towards them though. No, because you know that this uh, situation isn't good for you, okay? Now you've also got exhausted and it says this situation has been mentally and emotionally draining. It feels like a lost cause at this point and I'm tired of dealing with it, okay? Yep, some of you gave up on this person, okay? Or you guys gave up on each other, okay? Because they've got the Ten of Wands, which 
is um, very similar energy to this. Okay, someone feeling just, you know, tired, burnt out, and just um, kind of calling it quits here. Yeah, so some of you, you're going to continue to hold back from this person or just focus on your healing, all right? So that's that. Let's pull your advice messages, okay? These may pertain to this, you know, person or situation, or, you know, maybe it's just some general advice that Spirit has for some of you. Just take it how it fits, okay? Spirit, please show me some um, general advice messages that you have for cancers. Oh, and this deck is um, now available for purchase. Okay, this is a deck that I created. All right, you guys. It was mainly just for the channel, but so many people liked it. So I went ahead and um, made it available to the public. If you're interested, there's a link below in the description box. Right. Spirit, show me three advice messages that you have for cancers here. So you got surrender frustration and it says frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a deep breath, center yourself and regroup. So you may approach the situation more calmly. Okay. Well, just, you know, take that if that fits. Okay. If some of you have been kind of frustrated with this person or another situation, okay, going on in your life, but you've also got, um, surrender to your intuition and it says tuning to your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you, okay? And you've got surrender to complete healing, and it says open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. And that's what some of you are doing too. Yep, that's exactly what the star card is here, okay? So that's what came out, you guys, if this uh, resonated. Feel free to like and subscribe, okay? Again, if you're interested in the deck, there's a link below in the description box. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Wish you the best. Take care.